250,000 miles in a Mustang Mach-E? What the battery looks like now will shock you. Hey EV family! Welcome back to EVpedia, your trusted stop for all things electric and amazing. If you're new here or just dropping by, don't just ghost us like a cold start on a dead 12V. Subscribe now, smash that like button, and let's see if we can reach our new challenge. 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments in the next 24 hours. Every tap makes a difference. Before we dive in, a quick heads up. This video is for educational, commentary, and transformative purposes only. All rights belong to their respective owners. Fair use is in play. Now buckle up, because today's story is going to give you a whole new perspective on EV endurance. Let's kick off with a quick question to spark your curiosity and get those wheels turning. How much range do you think a Mustang Mach-E retains after clocking 250,000 miles? Think you know the answer? Drop your guess in the comments right now, and don't cheat by skipping ahead. Now, get ready for a ride, because this isn't your typical EV story. This one's got miles, resilience, and some good OL, Ford attitude. When the Ford Mustang Mach-E first launched back in 2021, there was a thunderstorm of opinions. The purists weren't happy. How could the Mustang name be used on a crossover EV? But fast forward to today, and that skepticism has largely faded. What's left standing is a vehicle that's not only proven itself in performance and practicality, but now also endurance. Enter David Blinkle, an everyday driver who bought his 2022 Ford Mustang Mach-E Premium just over three years ago. Now here's the kicker. He's racked up over 250,000 miles on it. That's not a typo. That's a quarter of a million miles. On one EV. In just over three years. And get this, it's still running like a champ. When new, David's Mustang Mach-E Premium RWD had an EPA-rated range of 303 miles on a full charge. After all those miles, he's still getting around 290 miles of range. That's a degradation of just 4%. In simple terms, he's retained 96% of the battery's original capacity. Nearly the same as driving a brand new EV with just a year of wear. Let that sink in. This isn't some engineering lab experiment. This is real-world usage, every day, through all seasons, highways, errands, long trips, and life itself. So, how did David pull this off? Well, it turns out you don't need a PhD in battery chemistry. You just need smart habits. He rarely uses DC fast charging, only on rare occasions. Instead, he sticks to good OL overnight charging at home, letting the electrons flow slowly and steadily. Another key factor? He sets his charging limit to 90%, a move many EV veterans swear by. It helps avoid overcharging and thermal stress, two known battery aging culprits. And you know what? The results speak for themselves. In David's words, the biggest misconception I encounter is about battery life and range, and then I show them my odometer. It's like a mic drop, but EV style. Maintenance. Pretty straightforward too. Regular tire rotations. Routine multipoint inspections. Fresh cabin air filters. That's it. Brake pads. Still the original set. After 250,000 miles. That's regenerative braking magic at work, folks. Sure, his Mach-E has a few dings and scratches, like any well-loved car would, but nothing serious. Mechanically, it's held up exceptionally. Now, let's pause the story for a second because it's the perfect moment to remind you. If you're impressed, inspired, or just a little shocked, show us some love. Hit that like button now. Drop a comment below and tell us how many miles your EV has. Or if you're still driving gas, let us know what's holding you back from going electric. We're here to talk, not judge. And hey, remember our challenge? 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments in 24 hours. You guys crushed it last time, and we believe in you again. Let's make it happen. Back to David's incredible story. Because this isn't just about one man and his car. It's about debunking myths. It's about showing the world that EVs can go the distance. Literally. It's about shifting the narrative from, what if the battery dies? To, how long will it keep running like new? David's experience proves that EVs aren't ticking time bombs. They're long-distance runners. 
With proper care and realistic usage, today's electric vehicles can outperform even the most optimistic expectations. And we know what some of you might be thinking. Well, that's just one example. It could be a fluke. But it's not. Tesla drivers, Hyundai Ioniq 5 owners, and even Bolt EV fans have shared similar stories. Now Ford joins the legacy. And it won't stop here. With newer battery chemistries, thermal management improvements, and smarter software, the next generation of EVs might stretch even farther, with even less degradation. Here at EVpedia, we're not just about the cars. We're about the truth, the tech, and the transformation that's taking place in garages, highways, and hearts all over the world. So before we cruise into the outro, here's our take. Evpedia's view. What David's Maki story tells us is simple. EVs are tough, durable, reliable, and most importantly, they age gracefully if treated right. You don't need gimmicks or hacks, just smart charging, consistent care, and a dash of love for your ride. Now it's your turn. What's your longest trip in an EV? How many miles have you personally seen on an electric odometer? Tell us in the comments. And share this video with someone who still doubts EV reliability. Let them see what a quarter million mile Mach-E can do. And remember that question we asked at the beginning? How much range did David's Mustang Mach-E retain after 250,000 miles? If you guessed 290 miles, give yourself a virtual high five. That's just a 4% drop from new, and it's a game changer. Before we wrap up, here's your EV trivia of the day. Did you know that regenerative braking in EVs can reduce brake pad wear by up to 90% compared to traditional cars? That's why David's brakes are still going strong after all those miles. EVs don't just save on gas, they save your entire braking system, too. Alright folks, time to power down this video, but not before we ask for one last favor from our incredible EVpedia community. Smash that like button. Let's hit 10,000 likes. Leave a comment. We're aiming for 1,000 heartfelt, insightful, even funny replies. Share this story with a friend who still isn't sold on EVs. And most importantly, if you haven't yet, subscribe. Because here at EVpedia, we're not just driving into the future. We're charging full speed ahead, together. We'll see you in the next one. Stay curious. Stay connected. And above all, stay charged.